What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea D. Jackson, back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Jump. You know, I've noticed that in the reality TV world, where you have these basketball wives and hip hop at Atlanta, a lot of these people, I, I honestly believe, number one, they're fake rich. Okay, they will do anything to have, um, you know, a new, a nice house, uh, beautiful cars, beautiful home. They're lazy. Okay, they'll do anything to have that shit. They'll do everything but work. It doesn't matter if they do fraudulent things. I'm not saying that all of them, but there's a good percentage of them, I believe. That when the dust comes up and then, you know, and they're broke and they spend all their money, there are going to be a lot of these folks in jail. And one of them is British Williams. She has been arrested and indicted on several fraud charges. Now, she's a nice looking lady. Um, now, these edges... I don't, I don't know what's going on with these weaves and edges like that. It looks so stupid, but she looks nice. She's a nice looking lady. I won't hold her. Uh, she's beautiful. No, she's good. She's a good looking lady. And British Williams is in St. Louis to face federal fraud charges. Okay. Well, why is that? Because apparently Mrs. Williams or Miss Williams has um, five felony charges over a misuse of a social security number. Four charges of bank bank fraud, three charges of making false statements to the IRS, three charges of wire fraud, and three charges of aggravated identity theft. That is hella charges. That's more charges than I have fingers. Damn near more charges than I have fingers and toes. That's almost 18 charges. Okay. Now she used false social security numbers in 2017. This is before PPP loan. To obtain loans, lines of credit, and funds from financial institutions. Okay? Four checks were deposited between $4,500 and $5,800 in accounts that she controlled. Okay? And withdrew the money before the checks bounced, our financial institutions realized that they were fraudulent. And, and so then what was she doing? She was weaving and sandaling it up. Buying cars, hanging out in Atlanta, more sandals, more weaves. Okay. And, and I, don't, I don't know how true this is, but 18 charges is a lot. I mean, how many do they need to get you with? Because talking about the feds. So even if they drop like 15 of them, you still you still with three. So with all of this dustiness that you have going on in your life. Okay. All this dust that you got going on in your life, which is a lot. You're going to jail. You're going to jail because you didn't want to work for nothing. And I want young people to understand my voice. Listen to me clear, men or women. Some people with the new, because the drug game, the crack cocaine game, from what I understand, ain't what it used to be. And drugs ain't as, as great as it used to be. It's more dangerous now. So people are, are, are looking at the internet scams, the, the PPP loans and things like that. There are other things out there. Let me tell you something. You're going to jail. And you're doing it for what? Not really the money, because you're doing it for the money, but you're doing it for the money to impress who? People who don't give a damn about you. And when you get your ass locked up, they won't be calling you to help you do nothing. All of that's going to be short lived. You're going to give it up for nothing. People don't want to work today. See, in my time, which was not that long ago, we would do anything for some money that was legal. Cut the grass. I worked at KFC. I worked at um, Lucky's. I worked at shitty jobs because I wanted to work. I wanted to be somebody in life. I wanted to get it honest. I knew that that half things, like the things I have now, I'm still working every day. I make plenty of good money in what I do. I can consult, no bullshit, because of my guy's success on YouTube. 
I can consult and make a thousand dollars an hour and not even post that many videos anymore and I will be full my clients will be full but it took me years to get to that point and I still work every day I have worked 285 days straight you guys see my consistency here why because working and understanding that knowledge is coming friendships coming uh, networking coming doors open take time to develop but I got it all on my own efforts people help me sure but I never stole from nobody and even America right now what do you see so many people Americans trying to get the economy back people begging folks to come to work people don't want to work a lot of Americans don't want to work especially in the black community we have people that don't want to work and a lot of the ladies um, not a lot but some of the ladies at least in our community um, who are attractive they want to get it by any means you know, you want you want Rolls Royces and you want nice things and those and, and Rolls Royce is a brand and, and that's meant for wealthy people. But people want to get it and, and cheat the game. And when you cheat the game, the game gets you back. You can't cheat the game. Shout out to Steve Dean Williams. You can't cheat the game. And then here's what's going on. These people in the black community. Especially these young men out here, these women are expecting them to, to have these things right away. Don't understand it take time. They start dealing with guys who got it right away because they cheated. They get killed, they get shot, they go to jail. Then you're looking for a guy who got it honest. And all for what? For more weeds to get on Instagram and stunt? Say you the baddest You know? say that and that's b-i-s-h just say that now you're going to jail and i tell people it's too much opportunity in the black world you don't gotta steal from nobody dog it's more money and i want uh, guys to understand this and women to understand this too in the black world i just got back from africa um if you get your stuff together by just helping black people just being it's too much demand because there's such an underserved community you don't even have to steal there's so much money out here in the black world. Just legally, you don't got to steal nothing. It, demand is too much. You, it's too much money. You can't get it all. All that you have to do is work and develop your relationships with people, develop systems for yourself to do things. The money will be there. But why are you trying to steal? Okay? Because you want some money, baby? Like you could have got on to Real Housewives of Atlanta and, and, and just built a brand without stealing from nobody. No, but you had to sandal it all the way up. You wanted to weave it up. You wanted to dust it up. You wanted to be so thirsty. Okay. Now your ass is going to jail. And it's going to be your fault. All because you wanted to have a blind weave. All because you wanted to have diamond studded sandals. And you could have worked. And I'm going to say this. For many black women out there, for what it's worth, I've seen so many black women in my life that worked hard for what they got. I've seen them. I went to college with them. They went to engineering. They went into uh, medicine. They went into uh, fashion. And they worked their ass off. Um, interning with things. Showing up every day. Catching the bus. There's so many black women out there that deserve to have nice shit because they put in the time. And I know it because I'm an African-American. A lot of business I do. A lot of times with black female entrepreneurs, I don't know that. And they get it honest. And it, and, and it upsets me when you get this bad stereotype about our women because you have some people like her. And I know that. I believe she did it. Come out and steal. When so many sisters out there work hard every day and don't steal from Wow. Guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first click at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.